Hey guys, what's going on? So like I said a couple videos ago, I just put Spartan lockers in my Jeep and I've been driving around with them for about two weeks now. So I'm going to go ahead and give a review kind of how they drive, um, how their road manners are, uh, just different little quirks and stuff that you'll find driving with auto lockers on the road, specifically the Spartan lockers though, because that's what I have. Um, overall, my impression is you do get used to it on the road. Um, there's a couple driving characteristic changes that you'll notice, but overall, you could do it. Um, it's going to wear out your tires faster. It's going to make other people think your Jeep's broken, but it does really good off-road. They're killer off-road. Uh, my Jeep's able to keep up with razors through a lot of stuff now, and I'm only on 32-inch tires, so uh, I guess I'll go ahead and jump right in. All right, so we're here in the Jeep, and one of the first things that stuck out to me that I'd read on a couple reviews that was absolutely true is that putting these lockers into your Jeep will absolutely bring out the weak points in your steering. What I mean by that is I had a wheel bearing, a hub bearing that was going bad. It was okay, but every time I'd get my wheel super caked with mud, it would start to shake about that much, um, going about 35. And when I put the lockers in, the first drive out of the gate, it was almost uncontrollable how much more it shook with all the same parts. Um, so keep that in mind. If you have any looseness in your steering or any kind of death wobble or anything up front, putting a locker in will more than likely bring, the, bring that out a little bit more. Uh, the second thing is just around town, like driving around a normal corner or something, they're really not that loud, but low speed, you will definitely hear their bang and pop and unlock. Now, I'm using an ADW90 gear oil, uh, which is the same as factory. Some people bump up to the 140 gear oil, uh, and they say that makes it a lot quieter, and the Jeep actually recommends that for the heavy towing applications or extreme weather applications, like super high heat. Um, but I went ahead and just did the, the standard 80, 80 weight. But I'll go ahead and show you now. Um, so I'll put her in drive. We're in two wheel drive. Go ahead and crank the wheel. And you hear it pop there a couple times. Let's try going the other way. There's one. There you go. But yeah, as you can see, when they're quiet, they're pretty quiet. Um, you don't hear them all that much, but when they're loud, you can really hear them. And people will stop and turn and look and see what the hell made that real loud bang. But, start going a little bit. Start going a little bit and it becomes silent. I don't even hear the ratcheting on my Jeep. Um, the only things I hear are the bang unlocks. That's really the only sounds I get out of them. Uh, another thing that I've noticed is that the steering wheel will snap to center a lot more aggressively with the lockers in. Going around the corner. If you let go, it really wants to just snap back into the center. Um, so that's another thing to pay attention to. But overall, they're really not that bad. Oops, I have to stop sign here. I guess I'll turn my turn signal off so you can actually hear it. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Um, I'll get up to the house and I'll tell you a little bit more about the rear. All right, so let's talk about the rear for a minute. So going around corners, as you know, the reason that these ratchet and unlock and the reason they're not locked all the time is because the inside tire on the turn goes slower than the outside tire on the turn. That's why we have the open diffs for really good road driving. Um, that's why the front 
bangs and pops and unlocks all the time because the drive line binds up and then it realizes that the one tire needs to spin faster than the other and then it pops to unlock. You really don't hear it in the rear all that much because they're not turning tires and they're not the leading tires in the turn so they don't have as much of a difference between the two. However, you will notice it sometimes. Um, if you do a rear only, you'll probably notice it way more than what I've noticed because I did a front and a rear. But in the rear, you will hear if you give it gas around a corner, even if you're not going all that fast, you'll hear the rear lock up since you're giving power to it and your inside tire will kind of chirp and squeal. Uh, I'll do that a little bit right now. Like I said, you don't have to give it all that much gas. You just have to turn and... See right there, I only went like, it looked like I said about 10 miles an hour in a little bit of a turn. And it chirps the inside tires pretty easily. Um, you'll notice it going, if you turn up a hill or something, uh, you'll notice it a lot more. And if you really get on it, you'll probably break both your tires loose, honestly. Um, which that's something you have to be careful of in the rain is not to give it too much gas when you're going around corners. I haven't driven it that much in the rain. It's been fairly dry the past couple weeks. And the one time it rained, I didn't get to go out in the Jeep. But um, I've got pretty good tires. I've got the Goodyear Dara tracks on here, which have really good uh, rain behavior. And so I don't anticipate that it would be all that much different. Um, you will slide more in the rain just because you're going to have your diffs locked because the road will be your loss of traction and it won't unlock your diffs as quickly. So just be a little bit careful of it. But as far as driving these every day, um, I take my Jeep out all the time and I really haven't had that many issues with it. Um, I've valeted a couple times and they've noticed it because they have to make sharp maneuvers in parking lots, but I've told them about it beforehand. But I mean, otherwise, I don't see an issue running these all the time, unless you're really concerned about tire wear. Um, I beat up my tires pretty bad, so this wasn't a huge concern to me because I'm going to go through them before the tire tread wears out, no doubt about it. Uh, but that's my review. Overall, I would buy them again. Um, they are just absolutely killer off-road, and I'll do another review where I take them off-road and show a little bit more what they can do. Um, there's not any places around here I don't think that I could safely uh, demonstrate how good they do without getting a ticket or something. guys one more thing I forgot to mention um, your first drive or the first couple drives even after you put Spartan lockers in are going to be pretty loud and you're really going to question um, if you really do need the thicker gear oil my first drive was just crazy how much noise they made and the ratcheting and clicking and popping it was just insane um, but give it some time uh, even still, mine are getting quieter and quieter every day. I had to work to get some of the pops out in the video, whereas a week ago it would just do that on its own all the time. So before you decide that they're way too loud, you need to take them out and all this other stuff, you just give it some time and see, um, just kind of see how they do after two, three, maybe even weeks, maybe even a month. Uh, but anyways, just wanted to add that in there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.